autonomic nervous system. Autonomic nervous system is part of the peripheral nervous system. It is composed of three divisions, sympathetic, parasympathetic, and sympathetic innervation of the adrenal glands. In parasympathetic system, the action potential stimulates the release of acetylcholine molecules from the preganglionic nerves into the nicotinic receptors at the postganglionic nerves. This binding results in a cascade of reactions that end in the release of new acetylcholine molecules from the neurons into the synapses with their effector organs. The released acetylcholine molecules bind to the cholinergic receptors and induce series of different biological effects. Similar to parasympathetic, the acetylcholine is the main neurotransmitter at the sympathetic ganglionic nicotinic receptors. However, the norepinephrine and not acetylcholine is the main transmitter at the synapses of the sympathetic system. Therefore, these receptors at the effector organs are called adrenergic receptors. In sympathetic innervation of the adrenal glands, there are no ganglions or synaptic spaces, but direct innervation of the adrenal medulla results in the release of both epinephrine and norepinephrine molecules into the blood. From the blood, the norepinephrine and epinephrine molecules are distributed to various adrenergic receptors in the body to exert a sympathetic-like response. The other main division of peripheral nervous system is the somatic nervous system, which controls the skeletal muscles. The main character of somatic innervation is the lack of ganglions. The nerves originate from the central nervous system and end directly in the neuromuscular junctions. The action potentials of the neurons stimulate the release of acetylcholine molecules which bind to their nicotinic receptors in the muscles to induce muscle contraction. Note that, unlike the parasympathetic receptors, the acetylcholine receptors at the effector skeletal muscles are called nicotinic receptors and not cholinergic receptors.